first time since 1982, Democrats in the Fox Valley believe they have an honest shot at picking up a state Senate seat. And this is under new legislative maps drawn by Governor Tony Evers and passed by Republicans in the state legislature to avoid worse maps the party feared would be implemented by the liberal-leaning state Supreme Court. Kristen Alfheim, a Democrat and Appleton Alder person, will run for an open seat in the newly created Senate District 18, stretching from Appleton to Oshkosh, right along the shoreline of Lake Winnebago. In our first alert update, Jason Zimmerman breaks down the impact of the new maps on this race and another in the Green Bay area. During an event at the Democratic Party headquarters in Appleton, Kristen Alfheim made it official. For those of you who don't know me, I am Chris Alfheim. I'm an Appleton Alder person and a lifelong Wisconsinite. And this morning, I am officially a candidate for Wisconsin State Senate. Elfine is the first to announce a run in a new state Senate district which favors Democrats by five points among voters. A big change from two years ago when she also campaigned for Senate, losing in a race with legislative boundaries favoring Republicans by 16 points. When you start changing lines, it makes it difficult to win. The reality is the Fox Valley is a blue-leaning district. We will always be a touch on the purple side. And I think that's a perfectly valid statement. The last Democrat to hold a Senate seat in the district was Gary Goyke from 1976 to 1982. Also, the new maps pose a challenge for Republicans in the Green Bay area, where state senators Rob Coles and Andre Jacques have been drawn into Eric Wimberger's district. Coles telling us instead of challenging Wimberger in a primary, he will move to the new district, where 75% of his current constituents are staying. I've got a passion for public service, and uh, I, I feel like uh, I know I've got great health, and I feel I still want to do this for a while, so that's my plan. However, Coles had harsh words for Democrats, who he says intentionally drew three sitting senators into the same district for their own benefit. This is pairing 11 Republican senators and not pairing any Democrat senators. I mean, that's not a coincidence. I call that ruthless. Andre Jacques is considering a run for Congress. He has two more years on his Senate term, but to stay in office next year, he would have to move into his new district. Reporting in the Fox Valley, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.